in the right. just brought this oh. baby in. The baby delivered oh, wow. in okay. the in the in the ambulance. Okay. All right. Let's All see what we I have know here. is the paramedics told me that um, mom says that had the baby's for more. 34 weeks mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, she's diabetic. So, so those are her complications. Um, this baby doesn't seem to be responding. Looks like he's probably. Should we in, get this wet stuff off? Yeah. Looks like he's probably in secondary apnea. We'll probably need to get a bag. Now. What? All right. Secondary I'll apnea. Okay. Secondary right. apnea is basically means they may have been asphyxiated longer, and so they're only going to respond to BVM stimulation. Um, where primary apnea, they respond to tactile stimulation. So if this baby was primary and I stimulated this baby, this baby would breathe. Yes, you would know within the first 30 seconds. Okay, okay. So even even um, when I'm doing stuff, it's Do not we working. have a mask? Have you seen Absolutely. a mask? Absolutely. Okay, um, you a mask. Okay, thank you. Um, Just make sure it's the right size. Okay, okay. Well, well how about this one? Uh, let me check. So, oh no, this is much too big. Okay, so, I brought a little one. Okay, great. It should go from the, the uh, top of the nose to the tip of the chin, and this looks too small. I'm not going to be oh able to get gosh. a good seal. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to need another one. How okay, about this thank one? you. Let's try this one. Yeah, this looks like it'll be good. Okay, let me try. Let's see if we have chest rise, guys. Uh, no. it doesn't look great. Just small. Okay. okay. Uh, maybe we can reposition. Yeah, Do we have anything to reposition? How about a shoulder roll? Okay, I'll get one. So we just have to remember when we first bag. Um, oh these babies that you want that opening pressure on the manometer here to be 25 to 20 to 25 to get a good chest rise and here I see a better chest okay rise. that looks much better after that initial pressure which stimulates crying um, you can go back down and, and hang out in the green zone between 5 and 20 oh so that's okay. perfect that you've got this manometer exactly the manometer is very important right now I don't have the baby on a blender because we didn't have one unfortunately even though NRP recommends that so I just have the baby on 100% right now. Okay. Um, so so I should put this on so we know what the sap is. Yes, are. we definitely should. Okay, so should well, I... And put it on preductal, which is going to be your right hand, the right wrist. Or right okay, I, I'm not sure I understand that, but can we talk about that later? Absolutely. Okay. We want to make sure that we're breathing at a rate of 40 to 60, and it's kind of like a waltz. You can do breathe, two, three, breathe, two, three, breathe, oh, two, three. Oh, that's perfect. And it will help you remember how to keep the beat. And I'm a really good dancer. There you go. Okay, okay, guys, where do we think that we're at right now? Oh, yeah, why don't we check a heart rate? Okay, so how do you want me to do it with the so stethoscope? The best way to do it is to auscultate and do it with the stethoscope. However, if there is a lot going on, you can also um, palpate the umbilical cord. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling a heartbeat, but oh my God, I'm so nervous. I don't know if it's not mine. Then go ahead and just listen. Okay, and then do I count for 60 seconds? No, you can actually just count to, for six seconds and then times that by 10 and that'll give you your heart rate. Okay. It's a fast and easy method. Okay, so if I'm multiplying by 10, this baby's heartbeat is 110. Good. Okay, good. It means he's okay. responding to our BVM. Okay, but why is this baby not waking up? Like, I'm worried about this baby. Um, I don't know. The chest doesn't look like it's rising. You know, again. I'm thinking that maybe um, there might be some gastric distension from all the bagging. Do you oh. think we could have an OG tube? Let's yeah. put an OG tube in and see if we can get a little yeah. better okay, chest Okay, let rise. me see if I can go find an OG tube. Okay. Oh, okay, I've got one. Okay. I've got one. And this is a good time to probably review Mr. Sopa if he's not getting that good chest rise and response anymore. Right. Okay, so okay. Um, I just took NRP. M is for mask. Okay. And so do you have a good mask? seal with the I mask? I do. I did, yeah. Um, okay, I still feel good. R is for reposition. So I reposition, just reposition the head. The mask. I reposition the baby. Um, S is for suction. I you have can a try suctioning mark. again, yeah. Okay. okay so are you ready to suction? I'm ready. Okay. So I'm going to suction the mouth first and then the nares. M becomes M comes before N in the alphabet. That's and all I one hole versus two holes, so that's easier yeah, to remember. Anyways. So that's M R S O is for um, open the airway. Which open I the did. airway. Yep. Okay, and P is for pressure. So do you? You're still in the green. So I'm still in the green. Yeah, and I, I increased it a little bit. I'm really between 15 and 20 right now, so it's a little bit higher pressure than where I started. Okay, and. Um, um, a, I need to consider another airway, so right. I should probably get things set up and ready for um, intubation. Right. We should. Fair? Yeah, let's check another heart rate maybe before okay. we go. Okay, okay, yeah. that's a good idea. And then can we prepare to put that OG tube in? Yeah, I'll yeah, I think that'll be helpful after you check the heart rate. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, the heart rate's 50. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to move around here. 
Well, she prepares for compressions. Can you go ahead and put that OG tube in? Sure, sure, sure. All right. Why am I doing this? Why do I care? We want to, dec we want to uh, decompress the stomach to make sure that there isn't a lot of pressure in there so we can get adequate bagging. And then also, um, we want to prevent the risk of aspiration for this baby. Anything that might be in the belly, we don't want it to go into the lungs. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. I'll have to get a step of a uh, syringe so I can check this. Yeah. Sure. Do you want me to count out loud so we can coordinate? Yes, that would be great. All right. Tell me when. I'm, I'm in two and three. three. One and two and three. three. I'm going to go get stuff for intubation and, three. Three. and for epinephrine. Three. 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 You know what? I think it would be good if you remind the intern how hard and deep oh, you need to um, compress. It's, it's easy to mess up. So a lot of people don't compress hard enough, and you technically want to go a third of the diameter of the chest, which seems like a lot, but you're not going to hurt the baby. Yeah, it seems like I would hurt the baby. So you want to compress them like almost a third to a half? Yes. And then come all the way off the chest? Yes, but I have a full recoil, just like an adult. Okay, so I see the sats are 75, so... NRP says that I should be using a scale like this because yes. newborns aren't necessarily going to be 100% right Correct. away. Correct. It takes time. So that seems really good that you guys are doing that. Okay. So how long are we going to do CPR before we decide if we need drugs? So we should go ahead and just go ahead and pull up the drugs anyway. Okay. And the patient that we are going to use them. All right. And usually so after one full round, which is um, three minutes of CPR, if you have not given it at that point, it needs to be given. Okay. And since I just had NRP, I know that I want to use the epinephrine that we use for adults. Yes. Which is one to ten thousand. Correct. But this is a lot of epinephrine. How much do I give the baby? So the dose, if you remember, is 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram. But on a baby like this, it can be difficult to do that math quickly. Oh man, there's so no way I can do that. NRP also fortunately recommends that you can give 0.1 milliliters per kilogram. So this baby is four kilograms, so that would be 0 0.4 milliliters. So okay. okay, so I can just use these TB syringes yes. and draw up the Absolutely. epinephrine. Yeah. Yeah. And you said that I might get multiple doses, right. so I should probably draw up three syringes. I would just, yes, absolutely. Make sure you label them what they are, but you should have at least three ready just to make sure your resuscitation is smooth. Yeah. Okay, great. And if we get that, also, if we get that um, advanced airway, we can also give epinephrine down the ET tube, which is going to be 0.5 to 1 ml per kilo, which seems like a lot of volume, but it actually is the correct dose. But it's just a little bit less effective than if you just went through the IV form. Okay, yeah, I did hear that a low umbilical line is a much better route for giving it up is, and up. For sure. Okay, and all right. Resuscitating in the manner that we are, where we put the uh, compressor at the head of the bed and the bagger on the side, makes it easy for somebody to put an umbilical line because that's the best approach for a newborn. Great. All right. Scenario ends. Okay, I would like to thank my wonderful peers for helping me out. Uh, my name is Terry Campbell. I'm one of the flight nurses at the University of Chicago. I'm Brenna Kazukas. I'm also a flight nurse at the University of Chicago. And I'm Alex Tang. I'm also a flight nurse at the University of Chicago. Thank you so much. We thank hope that you. this was helpful. It's hard to talk and compress. It is. It is hard. Actually, yeah, yeah, that was doing such a terrible job. I'm like, I don't even know how to shove that. I'm just trying to shove that. It was good. Okay, so let's see how it looked on there. All right, let's see. Guys, I think that went pretty well. Oh, it went great. I think it actually responded. Guys, lipstick is all over the inside. Rude. This baby is rude. And you're like, when should we reach up to get the up and up? And I'm like, I don't know, in a few minutes, in a minute. I was literally like, what does NRP say?